Welcome to Blessed Sacrament Cathedral for Thursday within the octave of Easter. As we prepare ourselves for this liturgy, let us take a moment and place ourselves within the presence of God. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We praise you, we bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. 
When Peter saw this, he addressed the people. You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the holy and righteous one and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong. And the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you, from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham in your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed for you first God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways the word of the Lord thanks, thanks be to God, God. Thank mm -hmm. you.
the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled and why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish, and he took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and psalms must be fulfilled. And he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, to you, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. In the first reading this morning from the Acts, we're continuing on with the story of the man who came to Peter and John and was healed. Peter has an interesting statement to the people who were gathering around him. He says to them, you children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us? As if we had made him walk by our own power or piety. I think this is an important thought for us to reflect on today. God works through us with all of our skills and gifts and talents. But he also works through us in our brokenness and our messiness and in our incompleteness. It's an interesting recall of history that Peter does today. He's talking to the crowd, and he says to them, You! Put to death the author of life. You denied him. You are responsible for what happened. It's really interesting to me that he doesn't mention, oh, and by the way, I denied him three times. But let's not get into detail. So he sort of lets him off the hook just a hair when he says, and I know you acted out of ignorance, but God has brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand. 
In other words, we can't mess up God's plan. God will work with us and bring his plan to fruition. And I think that that can give us confidence in relating to each other. But we are asked to relate to each other in a unique and particular way. If we go to the Baltimore Catechism, we're told that God made us in his image and likeness. We are told that we are most like God when we most reflect who God is. And how do we do that? Well, when Jesus came into their midst, his first words give us a good idea. Peace be with you. He challenges us to lead with the peace of Christ. He challenges us to lead with the mercy of God, with the compassion of God, with the forgiveness of God as we deal with each other. He challenges us to make present in a very real way Jesus Christ to each other. I think that's the whole rationale behind Jesus saying, have you anything here to eat? Luke didn't just throw that in because it was breakfast time. I think Luke wanted us to understand Jesus truly is present. He says, look at my hands and my feet, that it is I. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. So they gave him a piece of baked fish, and he ate it in front of them. The proof of his presence. We have been sent as a witness to the nations that Jesus is truly alive and is present. We have to embrace that reality and realize that we, even in our weakness, in our messiness can do God's will and make God present. We're always told that grace is present and what is required of us is to cooperate with that grace. That's where free will comes in. Do we choose to cooperate with God's grace? And when we do, amazing things can happen. So, the thought for today is the presence of Christ. The presence of Christ to the apostles before and after the resurrection. Real real and the presence of Christ in our life through God's grace and let us ask God today for the ability to cooperate with that presence and in all that we say and do 
to make that presence felt. Remember the words to lead with. Peace be with you. God bless. One in faith, united in baptism, we offer our needs and the needs of the world to God our Father. For the Catholic Church in our diocese and throughout the world, may God guide and encourage all believers in their faith and reliance on the real presence of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the leaders of all nations, particularly in this time of crisis, may God grant them wisdom and strength in building healthy, holy, peaceful, caring communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For all who are grieving the loss of a loved one during this Easter season, that God may provide comfort through the hope of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all in our faith community who are sick in body or in mind, may God give them courage as they face the difficulties of treatment and recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of those who are at the forefront of responding to this crisis in any way, shape, or form, who are providing us with essential services that God may protect them with his angel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, that, may, that God may grant them rest and eternal peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the intentions you bring to this liturgy within your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you for humbly hearing our prayers. Accept our petitions in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. 
Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us across the way offer each other the sign of peace.
us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Closing hymn is number 430. I know that my Redeemer lives. Verse 4. <laughs> again for joining us here for Mass at Blessed Sacrament Cathedral, as is our custom. Remember, if you haven't done it yet, to text FAITH to the number 724-305-3057 to get updates on the diocese of everything that's going on in this time of separation. If you have a friend who's saying to you, hey, what's going on at the church? Tell them to do this. Text FAITH to the number and they will get updates. And as always, we appreciate your continued support for our parish and for the diocese through both Parish Offertory and the Diocesan Lenten Appeal. I want to tell you about a couple of things that are happening. On Sunday, Bishop Molesic will have his Mass streamed at 9 a.m. I believe I gave you an incorrect time yesterday. It's 9 a.m. But then, to help people of faith come together during this crisis, the Diocese of Greensburg is producing, or has produced, a one-hour Divine Mercy special broadcast, which will air on WTAE-TV, Channel 4, on Sunday, April 19th at 2 p.m. So that's Turn to Channel 4 on your TV this Sunday at 2 p.m. The program will also be available immediately afterward on the Diocesan website and the Accent Online uh, website. Bishop Molesic will lead the service entitled Faith During Crisis, Lord Have Mercy, he will reflect on the meaning of divine mercy and lead us in praying the divine mercy chaplet. So that's this Sunday, 2 p.m., Channel 4, the Sunday Mass for the second Sunday of Easter, also Mercy Sunday, is streamed at 9 a.m. In addition, our deacon here at the cathedral, Deacon Bill, will have a reflection on our website uh, starting sometime tomorrow afternoon, we ask you to check that out as well. And in conclusion, uh, our reflection piece for the day is Invention Number One by Johann Sebastian Bach. God bless. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow at 1030. <laughs>